What's up everyone, this is Bubbles and welcome to a horror game called Rise of Insanity. Now the reason why I am playing this game is because it's been on my Xbox hard drive for a long time and I, I always wanted to give this game a try. If it turns out to be a cool game I might make more videos for it, if it turns out to be a crap game this might only be the, well, this might only be the one video for it. Tonight I was going to be playing Cry of Fear, but literally no recorder of mine is able to record it. But for now, let's try out Rise of Insanity, so new game. Warning, this game contains frightening scenes, sudden increases of tension, people with weak hearts. Okay, so all horror game stuff. Keep calm. Relax. And calm down. My name is Dr. Stephen Dowell. Hello. You are here because your disorders started to get out of control. Really? That's why I'm here? To behave normally, and disturbing thoughts took control of you. Wow. I'll show you the film I created. Okay. And you will tell me what feelings you have while watching it. And if you saw anything worrying. Sure thing. This is going to be an easy test. So that was a bit of an unfair test. I've got to admit, I like the effects. And we're inside of the game. The patient's data. Edward. 41 years old. Day, September 1st. I know Edward as far back as I remember. He worked as a gardener in our neighborhood. From the preliminary interview, I got to know that he suffers from a dream disorder. He has constant nightmares and can't sleep well, as well as a memory disorder. Sometimes he doesn't remember what happened a couple of days or hours ago. I have some suspicions connected with his case, but it's too early for the detailed diagnosis. Holy crap. Memory disorder? God. Hashtag relatable. So we have a little bit of a letter or just notes here. So three tests, a new therapy, waiting for results. X. Oh, okay. That'll be easier. We've got other letters over here, but they can't be picked up. But so far we're in the game and already it kind of reminds me of the first Layers of Fear game. I mean like, wait, what? Oh. <laughs> Not gonna lie, the icons reminded me of Layers of Fear. <laughs> maybe the inspiration behind this was maybe Layers of Fear. Oh, what do we have here? Isn't there a type of photo where, like, you are given, like, a photo which looks like one thing but also can look like another thing? Oh look at that, we've got a little bit of a beach ball. Shame we can't actually bounce it around though. Oh my god, okay. So the eyes of the woman and baby are cut out. Okay, kind of reminds me of um, the house a bit. And we're able to leave. God, this place looks awesome and polished as hell. Oh, I have discovered how to run everyone. Yay! Doctor do well. <laughs> I just noticed that. Dr. Do Well. Yeah. Do well at your exams. Dr. Do Well 
launches his do well new experimental treatment method that does well. <laughs> God, I feel like I'm in deep isolation at the moment. And I hear a radio. And a this is. Tragedy. A mother and child were murdered, and the violator was. Me. That's what I was going to say, the violator was me. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this house is actually super huge. TV? Why can't I turn you off? I mean, I'm not trying to be sexual or anything, but why can't I turn you off? You like jazz? Oh god. Oh god, this, um... These stuff have been around for a while. Wait, can I now turn it off? So I just needed to wait for that, uh, sounds trigger. Thanks, honey. Where is that coming from? Oh, wait, what's this? Sweetheart, remember that you are on duty today. I thought it was going to say, um, sweetheart, remember you're a sweetheart. Thank you very much. Theodore Dewell. Okay, well, he is very, very good at everything. Wait, that's from... Oh, here, right. Am I talking with Dr. Stephen Dowell? No, it's not Dowell, it's do well. Get it fucking right. Um. Wow. Just spawned here. Patient Edward 41. Day, September 11th. Patient has told me about his dreams where he tries to murder his wife and child. As far as he said before, he's a bachelor and he hasn't said anything about children. It could be some traumatic memory from his childhood. I have to get to know about it during our next meeting. It is a harder case than I expected. Some symptoms indicate that the patient can possess a multiple personality. But these are only suspicions. I have to ask my friend, Abraham. Does this friend happen to be uh, named Abraham Lincoln? Because maybe he can help as well. It is nothing certain. Please come to the morgue for identification. Dear Abraham, I apologize for not having written so long. I was occupied with family, work matters. I trust that you are okay. How is your wife, Berta? I can't really have a case of certain patient, Edward who is 41 years old, he is reporting problems of sleep and memory. I noticed him to have certain minor tics. There are times when he suddenly, strangely moves small finger of his left hand, so that one, but the other hand. He told me about a nightmare that has been haunting him for some time, only dream he's able to remember. He told me he had attempted to kill his wife and child. For some reason, that reminds me of um, P.T. Silent Hill was P.T. But then I just remembered the man actually killed his wife while she was pregnant. So he never had a child. However, he was not able to do it. He constantly wakes up before the very end. Rightio. That's a lot of information. Holy shit. So wait, uh, have I moved location? Because after that phone call, I seem to have probably moved okay. Shin. Okay. Not sure if I'm a fan of the atmosphere. But. Okay. Why do. Why do I feel like I'm getting Sun Hill vibes from this? I mean, I probably shouldn't be, but for some reason I am. Okie dokie. Where am I even meant to go? Am I actually meant to go into the damn elevator? I hate elevators. God, ever since, um... Hello? I swear I heard somebody. Ever since, um, The Eye. If you don't know about The Eye, it's like a tire horror film. And apparently, uh, the one... Uh, the guy behind Death Stranding, Hideo Kojima, he actually watched it, I think, maybe, and he's actually getting sort of like horror inspirations for his next horror game, and The Eye, I think the name of the horror film is called The Eye, I can't remember, but it had an elevator scene, 
with a man in it. So please, do not reenact the scene. I beg of you. Is there one behind me? Okay, good. No one's behind me yet. Okay. I seem to be safe, maybe, for now. Okay. God, this is literally reminding me of Layers of Fear. I'm kind of liking it, but also kind of disliking it. Wait, do I have a flashlight? Wait, what? I don't have a flashlight. Uh, <laughs> okay. Not going to lie, this is actually pretty good. Wait, what the hell is this? A rubber ducky. I mean, I've encountered a lot of these in SC... Okay, then. I've encountered a lot of rubber duckies from SCP containment breach, so... They're lovely. They're very, very lovely. And I'm honestly liking this. I really do like the um, environment at the moment. It really does remind me of Silent Hill. The atmosphere also reminds me of Silent Hill. God, I'm such a Silent Hill f fan. Well, that's that um, picture thing smudged in. And we're finding like a toy train, maybe? Inside of the sink? Where a fetus, maybe, from PT? A key to her heart is located where your journey began. Oh, shh. Um. What? Um. We've got to have a code. Are you serious? Whoa! Fucking Jesus! Whoa! Okay, no need for that. I was just, you know, looking around for like maybe a note or something to help me with that code thingy over there. No need to jump the scammy game, but you did actually get me. Can we take the elevator back down? Wait, we actually can. Or does it take me to a different location? There's no man here. Ah, right. Okay. <gasps> Jesus Christ. So I was meant to go down here. That was scary. <laughs> but I want to go over here for- Okay. I get you, game. You want me to go back into here for some reason. I get ya. Loud and clear. What the heck is this? Check eyesight. Room 6. What I really need is a flashlight, not fucking glasses. So, room six. How am I supposed to... F room six. We've got it right here. Coolio. Vision can be saved. Um, can this game be saved? Doesn't look like it. Oh, what do we have in here? City news. Mother and seven-year-old son murdered. Zero nine nine. It could be 099. It could be 7. It could be any of those numbers. H A S 629. It could also be 629! There's so many numbers around here! O M fucking G. I fucking did it. It was 629, people. It was 62 fucking 9. I am a genius, dude. Yeah, some technicians really need to check out the lights because, um, yeah, they're flickering. Like my light, um, maybe like yesterday or something. What do we have here? No match. Well, isn't that just an inconvenience? Wait, wait, is this like a bar for something? Hi. Hey, who's out there? Would you like to come in? Wait, who is actually out there? I can, t I can hardly tell who's out there. Oh, right. Okay, wait, hang on a minute. <laughs> what the heck is happening? Graphics, brightness. Let's just put this up a bit. Because <laughs> I've no idea what the fuck is happening. Okay, this is slightly better. 
Okay. Um. That was neat. And we're back. Yay. I feel happy to be. Wait, what? Whoa. Uh. <laughs> we're controlling the bird. <laughs> okay. This is cool. <laughs> this is honestly cool. Wait, wait, we're controlling the bird through hell? Because this is kind of reminding me of that hell game called Agony. Bit. Maybe, maybe we are, like, flying through hell. Or maybe we're just flying through red mist. AKA, where the fuck is Squidward? Has he committed suicide yet? I think we found our end game, people. Hell yeah. Let's go for it. Okay, that was fun. Flying school one. So now we can fly like Superman? Okay, cool. Gain control over him, please? Uh... Okay? Uh... I don't mind control. Yay, we are back now. And you know what, let's just turn down my graphics. Uh, yeah, put it back to normal. So that we get the extra Silent Hill kind of ish feeling. We could actually be in the town of Silent Hill and we may never ever know about it and we can't go inside of there so that requires a key. Are we able to get our flashlight yet? Have we not got a flashlight yet? God damn. This guy really needs to, you know, invest into buying a flashlight. Tell me something I don't know. I already know I shouldn't be here. But yet, yeah, I am here. So what are you going to do about it, you piece of shit? Oh, another rubber ducky. Yay. Okay. Oh, key. Nice. Okay, time to go back. Well, excuse me. Well, someone's in actual distress. Let's go in. Daddy, play with me. As long as you're not a clown, I'll play with you, okay? Clowns are the worst to play with. Oh. Wait, you're not even real, are you? You're asking me to play and you're not even real. That's unfair. Where is the border between a dream and reality? What is our life? Is it that what is dreamt or is that what we dream about? Tell me, dear Susan, would you, what, what would you do if you couldn't sleep? Would you be able to take control over the dream that does not come but haunts you? Oh, this is going real deep into dreams now. Okay, so name of deceased. Is that me? Or is that my father? Or my son? Wait, hang on. Age seven. So it's definitely... Son, maybe? Is that me? But younger, maybe? Cause of death. Strangulation in bed. Who the fuck would have strangled me? Is that it from inside of here? Um. Wait, where's that coming from? Oh, over here. Daddy! Daddy! He's here! He's back! And who's back? Shady? Slim Shady. And now we are inside of a child's room? Or maybe like mum and dad's room or something? Theodore is a very talented child. He is very calm and he has the character of a dreamer. The only thing that disturbs me... Okay? Oh, okay. We're back inside of the house. You know what? I am going to cut it there. Um, I don't know if the game actually saves or not, but I'm going to end it up there. So guys, that is going to be it of me playing uh, Rise of Insanity. It's an alright game. It's got like sort of Silent Hill vibes here and there, all just creepy elements in the game. Although there's not really enough for me to actually come back to the game. Like, there are so many games out there that can easily just engross me into the story or just engross me into the gameplay but this game just has sort of like random things happening and 
yeah, I'm not into this game, so this is going to be the only video. But anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.